little house and design office is a is a cave so it's all underground and it's not a traditional sort of house but just so I'm explaining all the different things to you let's tr treat the slab that we've done on top currently just as a ceiling and let's look at how to create a roof so if we were to create a roof over this simple building we might want to use a hip based roof and this is the most common type of roof that we see built in Australian houses if I turn off the trace reference we see that we're only using the slab now when we're using the multi-plane roof or the hipped roof type what we're doing is building it all in one go so multi-plane geometry so we have to choose a pitch now what's a good pitch depends what sort of building material you're using but let's make it 25 degrees at the moment uh, the elevation is not really an issue we can change that later Effectively, we just want to be sitting on zero to this story. And what sort of eave overhang do we want to have? We're going to be using the edge of the wall as the pitching point. Uh, and we, again, a standard roof eave might be 450 or 600. We'll just make it 600 at the moment. And now to do this, I could draw it. But again, the simpler way would just be to use the magic wand tool. So that's the space bar in Archicad. I'm going to click, and then I can either click on the edge or click in the middle and that's going to define the shape. Now, Archicad has this thing where it cuts the middle out because what it's showing you is that's where it's cutting through. Now, that's not at all what I want to see, but it's a bit fiddly to try to get rid of that at the moment. But just to explain what that's looking like, now we're looking at a, a tiled roof, and when we look at that in 3D, that's the effect that we get. So I'll, I'll spend more time in other videos explaining the roofs and the potential of the roof tool to do other things such as ramps. At the moment, this house is not meant to have a roof. So let's just delete that and we can go back with what we were doing. So that's the roof tool, very simply put. Of course, we can do that using the single plane tool. So back in the roof tool, we have the multi-plane or we have the single plane, which means we could do skillion or gabled or hipped roof, but we just draw it up mathematically. All right, back downstairs to our lower ground floor. We've still got a lot of stuff to add if we really want to. Now, as a design exercise, you don't need to draw any of this house if you want. You can just focus on the design office and maybe the office bathroom, working that out. But at least we need a wall, internal wall. So we're going to grab that wall tool again. We might keep with the generic wall for now, or we could make up another type of wall. Let's just do that because I've already shown you once, so it's a bit of revision. Composites. So we're going to make up a new one this time, and we're going to call this um, Timber Framed Wall. And I might just add 110. Now, this is a little bit cr tricky, I understand. Uh, are we making a timber frame wall that's 110? No. The timber frame, in this case, is actually going to be... 90 mil. Let's find something that's going to work well. Timber. Or is it even only a cavity? Insert skin, insert skin. What we want on the outside might be, if it's a 110 mil wall, it might actually be plasterboard being 10 mil thick or it might be 13 mil or it might be villa board and tiles it could be a lot of different things but we're just going to try to keep it really simple for now and so we're going to make these materials to be what is it going to be called plaster or gypsum plasterboard let's do this one again this is Archicad's ones not my preferred um, I'll tend to, when I'm making my own file, to customize a lot of these, uh, but I just want to keep it simple so you're just seeing the same thing as me, hopefully, at the moment. Uh, and this will be 90 mil. So 10, 90, 10 equals a total of 110. Now, this is currently airspace. We could change this for timber frame, um, but we'll just leave it as airspace at the moment. Okay. And then we can draw this in. Again, we can just trace, we can just cheat at the moment. And I want to go into my composites and then choose that 110 frame wall. We could just, again, draw these whole things, or we could just draw the ones that are relevant to what we're trying to see at the moment. Just draw that the whole way. 
So if I now take away the picture, because I'm happy with that, cut that away, it's only now down on the trace reference, then we're seeing we're left with uh, design office and the bathroom shape. Now to finish this off, I want to add a door. Now this is where we're going to start to go away from what the original drawing said because we're effectively doing this as a alteration and addition or changing the, the shape. And so now we're going to add in a single door and we can move where that is as long as it's somehow relating to the, the cavity down here where the door is because we wouldn't want to cut out more brick but we can already use that hole that's there. And we're going to design in a design office and a bathroom space. Now mostly how we should be designing in ARCHICAD because we really shouldn't necessarily be designing entirely in ARCHICAD but maybe using a pen and some paper. We can use however to make life a bit simple is the object library. So if we go into the object library again the same way ARCHICAD 19 basic library furnishings we can use maybe beds or chairs or sofas or let's go to the office equipment or we can go to tables we can use any of these elements we can even if we go back to the furniture layouts we could do office workstations so we're starting to see very very quickly without having to think about all the individual elements and if I was to, for instance, rotate this, I could actually add more very, very quickly. And we could start to plan out this space. So maybe that's the most efficient way to, to build this office. Maybe it's not. Maybe we want to have different types of arrangements. Maybe we don't want it to be all open. Maybe we want to have individual cubicle type design arrangements may be placed in the corner. So I'll let you have a play with this and some different options. I just want to show you the possibilities. While we're here, let's have a look at some other object types that we might be using. Deselect that first so we don't change the original. But maybe now we're using a, a, a table. Maybe it's a rectangular table. We can rotate it in the object library or we can place it on the, the plan and then we can move it around as we need to. Move, rotate. And so we can use this and of course we can use lines or we can use more wall tools again to, to work out different arrangements for this space. So maybe we're going to have one separate office with more of an ensuite or as a bathroom or maybe we keep the office down this side and leave a, a corridor for where the door is. So. I'm just going to put something somewhere at the moment and then we can play with it later. So again, I wouldn't recommend that you entirely use ARCHICAD to help you um, plan out your designs or do your designing, but we can use ARCHICAD to help do space planning very easily and we can use ARCHICAD for a lot of its other purposes. So. Let's have a look at a design for this office and for the bathroom. Again, we go to the object library to find our bathroom fixtures. They can just be a little bit tricky to find sometimes. And so with our bathroom fixtures, you won't find them under the furnishings. Instead, we want to go to the mechanical. So under mechanical, we want our plumbing fixtures and then you'll find most of what you're looking for here. So I'll just again dump them on the page, just like we've ordered them. They don't necessarily come installed. And then once we've got, maybe we're going to put a bathtub in here as well. Once we've got everything dumped on the page, then I will think about where I want to place it. And that helps to give me an idea of scale. Based on what I was taught at university, don't draw it, don't try to design in ARCHICAD. Do this by hand, get the layout working really nicely, and then come up with a good solution. Now, the back of this wall, what I haven't been thoroughly 
detailed on is the back of this wall is actually stone because it's a cliff because it's a cave so the back wall doesn't necessarily exist so what I'm actually wanting to do in terms of a design layout for here is to make the back of this room a garden and so we have a nice private garden from the the bathroom to the um, the bathroom to the space behind it so we can use this we can use Archicad to try to to work that through. Maybe if I need a bit of a trace reference, I might just put a bit of that line back in. Maybe I'll just do it a different color, which represents the, the rough layout or placement of that stone at the moment. So that will give me an idea of where I should be stopping placing furniture. So in this case, I'm probably gonna wanna be putting most of my um, fixtures along this wall. in a linear arrangement. But the beauty of ArchiCAD, of course, is that you can play and adjust and make changes as you go to get the shape to work the way you want it. All right. 